So we are sitting at a cafe. Cafe? A we're, cafe. We're here sitting at a cafe. <laughs> I'm uh, here with Marie. Uh, we're talking about, in this video, I'm, I'm still waiting for three more girls to come. They're late, massively late. But uh, we're going to start with Marie and we're going to talk about how women can get into cycling. This is going to be sort of Melbourne centric, but it's really going to be relevant to all women who watch the channel who want to get into cycling and we'll have some handy tips for them. I got my road bike about three years ago. Yeah. Um, and I was sort of... So you've been doing it for a while? Yeah, I've had, I had a car accident. I got hit by an ambulance in my car last, what was it, yeah, 2016. So that took me out for a year. But um, I sort of just trained doing fundraising rides like uh, Cadell Evans ride and all those sorts of things and just found groups to train with that. I had no idea. Cause like I just had a flat bar road bike and then I said I wanted to get a road bike. And a woman I used to work with said that she really liked finding bikes for people. So she um, looked online and would send me through links for different uh, bikes. Yeah. And so she found this bike on eBay yeah. and I didn't know what it was. She worked out what size I was and she sent me through this link. So I got this second hand bike from Brisbane uh, for like $1,300 including postage and even at the time I thought that was way too expensive and it was a Malvern Star so I thought oh maybe that's why it's so cheap and then it arrived and it's like an ex-teen bike she has Dura Ace oh she's just she's brilliant I love her and yeah. I've and had so her. her yeah it's a girl so some girls like saying that they've got a heat yeah Yours, you, you, did, was that a conscious decision yeah there's no doubt her name's Gingivitis and she's Gingivitis. beautiful yeah she is beautiful so I've got a very special connection with her, um, but she's getting a little bit old at the moment, so I'm sort of trying to work out whether it's worth upgrading some components on her and keeping her there, or... Yeah. but yeah, I adore her. My first kit was something that I found on eBay. Like, I just found, but before that, I, I got kit from Anaconda, and I just had like something, like, you know, just like mountain bike shorts, and I used to ride that down Beach Road, and to be honest, like, I had a flat bike road bike, it was really heavy and I tried to keep wheels and so I got strong so then when I did get a road bike I was stronger for it. Yeah, so yeah. I came into this like with my triathlon jersey and then somebody else's club kit, uh, uh, bib shorts. It was just a mix and match. Yeah. Um, it wasn't until some of my cycling friends looked at me and said you can't hey, come on our ride. Yeah, get, get, get <laughs> you should though, I wear yeah. Hubbard with pride yeah. because I think it makes the sport less intimidating yeah. for people to get in. I wouldn't you care. wear Hubbard with bra. Uh, yeah, so like I'll always wear arm sleeves because I'm like, who wants a bad tear line? Um, but I also, my goal with cycling is to get to a point where I'm so strong that I can wear skins and a Lululemon workout spot at the top amazing. and smash people on beach road. That's my goal. Atta girl. Atta. <laughs> well, I've only recently started sort of getting into the cycling groups. Yeah. So originally I would just ride with a group that were trained for Ironman. So I just do like their Saturday ride with them and they were really welcoming. Yeah. And I think my first ride with them, I rocked up with just like commuter shoes and you know uh, just a crappy helmet that I had and they didn't judge me they just let me come and they said if you can keep our wheel then good on you otherwise there's something to work towards and um, man it was hard like I had to stop and on the way home stop like three times at three different servos to just get something to eat and it was only like a 60k ride but like it made me stronger and they were just so lovely about it like they always just encouraged me um, and so only recently I sort of, sort of started getting in with the women's cycling group yes. and yeah they're good fun and like I'm actually finding a lot of women are really encouraging yeah. to getting other women out there so yeah. Oh yeah, without a doubt and these boys that I was trying to keep the wheel of were... Showing off. Well they were, they were training for Iron Man and they were... and or sprint tries and they were fast and I was always so determined to try and keep the wheel as long as I could and I didn't understand what I was doing and I had to justify to myself every single thing I bought for my bike because I wasn't sure how much was wank and how much was actually um, a necessity yeah. and was going to help me so they were really lovely guys like they are they still really look great guys like they um they always let me pick their brain and um 
yeah, they were always they always laughed at my dad jokes, so that was always a winner. But you dad jokes? yeah, for the first like, oh mate, that's all I have. Really? <laughs> His dad jokes, yeah, exactly. If you ride with me, gold dad jokes. I don't have a coach. I'm talking. I'm thinking about getting one because I feel like it'd be a personal trainer who could tell me what to yeah. do. But yeah, like yeah, maybe okay. structured and sort of. What do you do? You have you don't have a coach? Um, I come from a triathlon background, so I've always had a coach. Okay. And I'm almost like, I don't know what to do without one. So I am, I'm looking. I am, yeah, yeah. So what yeah. brought you, you just started or you? I started the end of last season. Um, and I think the whole triathlon background has helped me. So I'm in um, A grade St Kilda. Oh, wow. So that's oh, pretty, pretty that's pretty, uh, like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, and C grade men in Coburg. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Into this, are they friendly? Um, I think you have to prove yourself. It's a sport where you have to prove yourself. Like it is welcoming. Um, to start off, it's welcoming, but when you start to get a little, you know, you start to climb the ladder, it gets very territorial, I find. Okay. Um, so you just... Who are the worst? <laughs> no names. No names. <laughs> no names. Sorry, no names. I've, I've been thinking about this. Don't say anyone, no name, no club, no team. <laughs> I've seen girls play different games, like one girl, I think she was in C grade at St Kilda and she was just went the whole time, oh I'm so tired, I can't go at the front, I can't go at the front, oh, and I'm like, alright, okay, I guess so, I'll go at the front. She just kept saying that, and then, because I felt sorry, the girl at the front had never done a race before, and I, could, I saw her heart was breaking, because yeah. I've felt that before as well, and I just went out and I went in front of her, and this girl just kept on saying how, how she was struggling, and then on the final sprint, she just smashed through and won, and then I went back a couple weeks later, and she she won B grade as well. So she was just, yeah, yeah she was playing, playing everyone. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't really know what my area is, but sometimes I think maybe it's a time trial. So I just yeah. smash it by myself. Yeah. You're strong. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's what I'm being told, is that I'm you, strong. Have you been tested? Have you had the FTP tested? No, no. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to Stephen Lane's house, you and I, <laughs> and we're going to do we a go. test. Oh, no. And yes. that's going to be another video. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? That could be fun. This yeah. Be can I wear a costume? A <laughs> you can wear a costume. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. Girl Ride Melbourne is a do you are you on it? It's a no. Facebook group, um, and I only recently got on it. But they also run um, a ride on a Friday, Friday morning um, ride called the Admiral Ride, which leaves from um, Admiral Cheng Ho's in um, Abbotsford. And that ride is really welcoming, and it just is a little loop through like Ivanhoe. And there's girls, like this one girl, Emily, is incredible. Like she has one kid and it's just some random kid. It's not any sort of brand or anything like that. She has one kid and she decided that she was going to try the Rafa's women's ride on the um, on the Thursday morning. So her kit was dirty. She didn't have a kit. So she just rocked up in like a pair of shorts and a workout top. And everyone was like, you legend, good on you. And she rode with us and they're really encouraging. Like, like that ride is really a good one. I think Rafa also has now started a women's ride on a Saturday morning, uh, which is literally just come along and give yeah. it a go. Yeah. And th there, are, there are more rides coming out there yeah. that I definitely think. And in terms of racing, there's some some really good, like good clubs who are doing D grade really well, uh, almost like a clinic where you have uh, marshals, yeah, taking care of you, talking you through it. I think that. Like, if I was to start all over again. Yeah. But I started with um, the Southern Masters, the veterans. They were yeah. amazing. D really? grade men. Okay. They just really looked nice? after. Yeah, they looked yeah. after me and they just, like, talked through the whole process, the rules, who's will to sit on. I just found that really welcoming. But to be honest, I don't ride with a lot of women, mm. I ride with men. Yeah. That's I, interesting. Sa I say that really quietly. That's interesting. <laughs> No, actually, I actually really like cycling as part of my identity. Um, so I like someone that understands my need to go for a ride, but I, I really, I'm worried that if I date a cyclist, then 
they're going to um, potentially overshadow my own passion. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I think it'd be just Olivia. easier. <laughs> it'd so, be really easy. <laughs> Boys. The bigger the saddlebag, the, the more they can carry. <laughs> Some right. girls wear makeup on rides. I don't personally because I'm just going to sweat it off. Yeah. Um, and also, I've got a really great theory that you know, if you can see me sweaty and you think I look good, then you can be my friend. <laughs> I just came back. I was trying to avoid hills on the way home because I didn't want to do any more hills. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just tried to find every flat road mm. in Melbourne. And hills make you stronger, but you don't need to. You don't need Not to do them. No. You can't you can't judge a cyclist on their size, right? I know some I know loads of people who don't look like they should be a cyclist and they are and they kick my freaking ass yeah. all the time. So it doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't yeah. matter what your shape yeah. is, it doesn't matter if you're not comfortable in lycra, there's so many options for right. wearing things yeah. that are not I'm gonna make you uncomfortable. Yeah. Wear whatever you want to feel comfortable. Yeah. There are girls that rode this morning, they're in sneakers. Yeah. yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. We don't, we don't care yeah. because yeah. the point is, we just want more people to ride yeah. because it's fun. Because and it's fun. And you like, I just did 110 Ks and I was last yeah. all day. Yeah. <laughs> I was last. But my friends wait for me at the top of hills. They're gonna cheer for me when I get there eventually. Yeah. And there's a gin and tonic at yeah. the end of my ride. <laughs> Started, I just thought you know I was strong enough to do a big gear so I did a big gear all the time and um, then one day and it literally was like I think I'd been training for like tour of bright or something and I was like a month before it started someone said to me you know you're meant to keep a high cadence and a low gear to keep your legs fresh and I'm like eh? <laughs> <laughs> and it blew my mind so I remember sitting next to her and at one point said that to her and yeah. she was like what? what? I was like yeah let me live. oh my god let me just blow your mind <laughs> and like this is the sort of thing it's like this encouraging these little things that nobody tells you yeah. and then like, you don't yeah. need to go out. You need yeah. to, here's that what you need to start riding. So can we just explain what a high cadence and big gears are? These girls are probably better. <laughs> <laughs> high can cadence. You, so so when you say high cadence, you just want people to spin, don't you? Yep, spin, fluid movement, um, fast. Yep. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going fast, but yeah. your leg. So you don't want around. to spin your, You don't want to push hard on the pedals. No, and you don't want to be jumping. Yeah. You don't want to be jumping on your seat. Yeah. You want to be nice and still. Keeps your legs core legs strong, yeah. but nice and moving. Yeah. yeah. Means you're more adaptable so, when you do hit a hill. Yeah. yeah. You're not gonna. You can sort of pedal up it a little bit yeah. easier. Um, you don't build up lactic acid as much. So. Yeah. 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 yeah definitely. When you buy a bike, the seat that the bike comes with might not be the best seat. Yeah. So I didn't know. Can I be crude? Can I be rude? Yeah, a little bit. Hey, mate. So I called it Vagina Rebellion because my bits hurt and I was like, this is really uncomfortable, right? A, I bought a bike, I bought a bike that fit, miracle. Then I bought really cheap Nicks, the shorts. And I bought the cheap Nicks because the guy that sold them to me was like, oh, if you don't like it, don't spend a lot of money on Nicks. Ba -ba, because you buy a bike, you're spending X dollars on a bike, right? Don't then go and buy a crappy pair of Nicks so your bits hurt. Yeah. So I started whinging at some point when I got comfortable with the people I was riding with yeah. and was like, why does this hurt so much? And they were like, A, your Nicks, B, the seat. So there are female specific seats and every female is different. Yeah. And you could put the conversation in Girl Ride Melbourne, it was probably a couple of months ago, the girls that are doing the indie pack, they were like, what's the best seat? And what's the best Nicks? And everyone is different. A lot of brands will let you change over the seat. I think Specialized and Bontrager let you, they have a swapping thing. Yep. So you, you can, can swap, you can, yeah. you can buy a seat and then take it back within a certain amount of days and they'll just exchange it for you. Yep. So doing that's really good. And don't skimp out on your Nicks. Your first pair of Nicks will make it When you say Nicks, you're talking chamois. about the chamois. The chamois, chamois. yeah. Yeah. And reckon? chamois cream. Chamois Some cream. women like chamois cream. I don't like don't chamois like cream, no. but it's worth trying. Is it? I think it's very. It's a personal thing. Yeah, I don't yeah. use it. Either. Yeah, I don't use it. But I you used to. I used to. Yeah. But then you just I build. Do, you <laughs> I'm a lot of yeah, 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 you do. do.
Sometimes though the price tag on mix can be really expensive and if you're yeah. trying to just get into it, I don't think you need to necessarily spend like, you know, like spend like 150 bucks on a pair of mix. No. When you could just, like I was saying earlier, you could just go to Anaconda, pick up yeah. like a cheap pair and you're doing like, you know, up to, you're working up to like 40k okay. rides and yeah, stuff exactly. and then when you yeah. feel like, okay, I'm starting to invest in this, then you can yeah. start sort of spending a bit more money and yeah. getting well, some stuff. Well, come and talk stuff. to me and I'll sell you. But why don't Let's you three a get a, get a, do a date? Mm, yeah. We're going to organise a group ride. Yeah. I'm going to post it on Cycling Maven. Probably, when should we do it? I've just made this up, so they haven't even had a chance to think about it. <laughs> I'm like, going through my diary TBC. in my head. But TBC. the girls, so TBC, right? But very soon, Saturday. very soon, within the next two weeks, yeah, two weeks. the girls are going to ride, do a group ride, okay? <laughs> For anyone who wants to come along, and I'm going to post it on the Maven. Awesome. What do you reckon? Yeah. Beautiful. Done. Best idea. Be Best there. Idea. Be and there. Then you can, and then you can do coffee. Yes. yes. Afterwards. And any girls who have questions, yeah. you can do a Q&A. Yeah, absolutely. And boys Great. bring headshots. Yeah. <laughs> Bring headshots. What's that mean? Bring a single boy. No. Just yeah. headshots and details. <laughs>I think the important, like the first step is to, to reach out to fellow women <laughs> um, and make contact with them because there's so many women who are already cycling who are so willing to give you a hand and, there's, and there are um, groups set up for beginners which is really important so that would be step one surround yourself by people who are going to be supportive yeah. you don't need to wear lycra um, if you do want to go lacquer in the full hog chamois cream is a must no underwear ladies no underwear <laughs> um, and get why a is that why <laughs> so much chafing and it's the most painful thing in the world my first ride I wore underwear and I couldn't pee for 48 hours afterwards it was yeah, horrible yeah. Absolutely it cuts horrible. into your skin doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so nasty yeah. um, but start small like anything you know don't go try and do don't try and be a hero um, first up would be a really big suggestion. Set small, small goals, um, and make sure you reward yourself. Have coffee at the end and enjoy it. I mean, that's what we're that's riding the bike thing. for: enjoyment. Yeah. To be honest, it's um, it's the best way to clear my head at the moment. And I've heard, I've actually remember reading an article in regards to cycling, in regards to male mental health. That um, cycling, because you're you're just riding, you just talk, you end up talking through your problems on a long ride that you probably wouldn't do if you were face to face with someone um, and I definitely find that when I'm riding like you know you're encouraging each other and all that you can talk about nothing or you can talk about everything um, you can be silly if you really want to but also just getting that energy out and I just I love starting the day at the moment with a ride and it's definitely putting me in a really good headspace yeah